side here, the latest of the iron sides. There's, the There's Arlo the Flegge. Referee of the year, Arlo Flegge, and speaking of iron side, um, it's the last of the iron sides as we know him. Uh, the last uh, Tim Ironside, younger brother of Mark Ironside, and you're going to see a lot of similarities. Well, he got into the finals with a with a, a stunning pin of uh, the favorite at the weight from the Cedar Falls. He was behind something like six to nothing at the time, and he won. Corey Tarchinski of Davenport West is his opponent, coached by Gene Bells. And here they're going at it. At Veterans Auditorium for the 3A 130-pound title. Well, Ironside keeps coming after you, and last night he did jump, uh, be, he did fall behind 6-0, but he fought back, brought it Good close, action, and then pinned Sinclair action. from Cedar Falls, who had pinned him twice who had pinned Ironside twice this year, so it was quite a turnaround. And in fact, uh, Ironside was on his back in the first period of that match and got out, and it was a stunning oh, no, reversal. There, the some of those, there were some matches in that semifinal round last night that were that way. In the 1A uh, matchup, that's Justin Stanley. We featured him in the first uh, part of the program. He has a chance to become the winningest wrestler in the history of Iowa wrestling up there from Wilton. And if he wins, by my calculations, that'll put Wilton ahead in the team race. They are now with 58 points tied with Postville, just one point behind Bondurant, Farrar, and Columbus Junction. So it's really tightening up after uh, Fitzer's win, uh, just a way to go. So if Stanley wins up there in 1A, as he goes against Casey Baxa from Lisbon, um, it would put Wilton in the lead. In 2A, we have Cole Pate from Maquoketa going against Garrett Kurth, number two ranked wrestler from Wacon. Garrett's Tarchinski of Davenport West against Ironside of Cedar Rapids Jefferson. I'll tell you the name, Baxa, that, that uh, Lisbon, circle, uh, Lisbon is a name from my childhood. I think I probably went to school with one of his grandparents. <laughs> Back in the prairie days, you know. Got the what near side that? cradle right here. That's, That's two Ironside. points. Ironside's got the near side. Trying to hoist his man over. Between periods, we'll show you the team standings that for 1A, because that's a real race. Wilton, you know, started out in fourth place coming into the finals tonight, right. but they had, as You're Tim said, they had here. two men, and they may both win, and that would really make it, boy, what a, what a, what a race that would make it, huh? That Ironside one. here, he uh, was a state qualifier in 1996, Break. fifth in 97. Here are the standings right Red now. Gear That's joint. where they stand. Look at that. Four teams, what a race. Point apart. That's the best I've ever seen. Look Green at that. Both up. Halfway, not even halfway through the finals, and we've got four. Each man right there. Everyone has a, a wrestler left, too. Every one of those teams has Circle. one wrestler left. Circle in there. The Wilton's wrestler left is the one that's in there Come right now. Out. Okay, we're uh, at a score of two to one here in favor of the man in black. That is Tim Ironside, uh, two to nothing in favor of Tim Ironside of Cedar Rapids Jefferson. As we start the second period, they started on their feet. Corey Tarchinski is in the light uniform, and Tim Ironside in the black. Circle! It's Arlo Flegge. How many times in his life do you think Arlo Flegge has said circle? <laughs> a lot. Over 40 years. 1A, it's 5-0 now for Justin okay, Stanley. Well, well, there's Dick, in the middle here. Dick Briggs, uh, Cedar here. Rapids right Jefferson, right longtime coach, and um, very excited. He, he called the win last night by Tim Ironside, probably the highlight uh, of his career. Yeah, there was a missed headlock by Tim Ironside. I wishes he had that one back because Corey Tarchinski just tied the score 2-2. Two two. In freestyle, that's okay, but in folk style, you're taken down after that, and it's... Tim Ironside at the bottom, Corey Tarchinski is even up. In 2A with a minute left in the second period, it's 2-2 two two between Pape and Kurt. Now Ironside is out. That makes it 3-2. to two. Take down for the Jefferson wrestler, Tim Ironside. Yes, he's related, of course, to the Ironside at the University of Iowa. Younger brother. Younger brother. Front headlock by Ironside, leading by one. Half a minute to go, tried to shuck with it. Throw his man by, couldn't make it count. Now he's back to the headlock again. He's controlling this pretty well, but he's only ahead by one. That's him with the underhook. He'd like to pancake his man with that if he could. The wizard, that, that overhook with the arm back, that's what Tarczynski's fighting him off with. 
Doing a pretty good job right there, fighting him off. His, uh, but but Ironside steps in over. He he's, he hasn't got it hooked yet. No, he hasn't. Break, 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 break. Again, we're looking at in one A. We're looking at Justin Stanley, who wants to become Red, the winningest choice. wrestler in the history. That right here, the slip headlock that that earlier. That missed headlock and it gave Tarchinsky the uh, the three, two, two points that he three, has on the six, board. On. Going now, back to third period, by the way, Tim will set this up first, three to two, and then we'll go. Ironside on top leads by one. There's Stanley in the blue from Wilton going to become, if he holds the 7-1 lead, the winningest wrestler in the history of Iowa high school wrestling, eclipsing Jeff Byler from West Des Moines Dowling, his record of 174 wins, which he holds with him right now. He's tied with him, but he's going to try to win a state championship and go to the top of the heat. Justin Stanley. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nelson, the heat. Oh, boy, I'll tell you. Tarchinsky right to his back. And he has got it close. He's got the chin, driving it through. All he and he's got a minute and 15 seconds to do it. He just has to settle in. Has to keep it there for a count of two. It's different from college. Now it's one second there, but here it's two. Now he's in tight with a headlock. It's a headlock position now. Arlo Flegge trying to call it. Three to two leads for Ironside with a minute to go, and he's trying to pin Torchinski. Oh, he gets out. Great fight Three by Tarchinski, because that was tight by Ironside right there. Ironside goes up. Three points for near fall, of course, makes it six to two. He started out in top. He was in the top position, and he didn't uh, catch him in any way. He just horsed him right on over. Boy, that was a big fight off the back by uh, Tarchinski, wasn't it? Corey Tarchinski of Davenport West. Take him back, take him back, take him back. On the edge, 20 right seconds to go in this match at 3A, 130 pounds. Here's the, let's look at him, force him over. Whew. Okay, set, move See on. See him get, trap the chin. And man, I'll tell you, Torchinski had to work to get out of there, and he did. Ironside on top, still leads by four. See? We're down to 10 seconds. Right now, and, and if, if Stanley holds this lead, he gets an extra point for the team. That's a big point, and I'll tell you about it later. It's up at 1A. Here's Ironside. On top, all the way to the second, third period. He got a very big move in there. He, uh, not, a, not a cutie pie either. It was a horse move. He just forced uh, Torchinski right over on his back. And Ironside wins 6-2, to two, a champion, a state champion for the Ironsides. Again, another... Uh, little uh, medal to put up there on the wall. Uh, and there you see Justin Stanley has just become the all-time winningest wrestler in the history of the, of the sport in Iowa. And he did some... There's Briggsy's reaction. Coach Dick Briggs for Tim Ironside's big win right there. There's Steve Shirk and uh, giving... Uh, and his assistant coach giving Justin Stanley a big hug. Justin won 10-1 um, to 1, or 11-1. to 1. So we're still going on the 2A mat with a half a minute to go. And this is Garrett Kurth against Cole Pape of Makokota. Garrett Kurth of Wakan. And the lead is, belongs to Cole Pape, who is, uh, he had nine losses coming into the state meet. But boy, he's gotten tough here. And Garrett Kurth, 40 and one of Wakan, is trailing by two. It's Kurth on the left, trying to make up two points. He's the one with the underhooks. Trying to throw anything to get the points with about 15 seconds to go. He's on an orange. Garrett Kerr. He was probably the favorite, no doubt, in this coming into this match. Back to the center. Makokota's Cole Pape. Garrett Kerr to walk on, trailing by two. Not time left. Big, big a win. Big win yeah, for the young man from yep. Makokoda. Nine losses, and he wins when he needs to. That's uh, that's the kind of thing that makes uh, state tournament interesting. How about that? His coach is Jeff Tamper. This is at 130 pounds. There are the champions at 125, 1A. 125 pounds. Here for a floor report. Dick? 
in 130-pound Class 2A. You don't expect it. This time, the freshman defeated the senior. And there you see Cole Pape of Makokata with his 6-4 victory over Garrett Curran of Wakon. Great match. Now let's go to Dean Borg. And what you're looking at here is the all-time winningest high school wrestler in the state of Iowa. He's Justin Stanley of Wilton. He just won his 175th match in defeating Casey Boxer of Lisbon, decisioning Casey 11 to 1. Uh, congratulations. I mean, what an achievement. Did you ever think, as you started out, was an objective to become the winningest wrestler? Or was it just one by one? Uh, well, I started out, I just, you know, I always had my brother to look up to. I just kept, uh, you know, he, he always, you know, he showed me the winning ways. And, he was uh, a state champion, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Did that uh, help you? Oh, extremely. He, he taught me, you know, how to get your mind in it and what what it takes to be a champion. And you know, I followed him up, and he's the one that's really helped me a lot. Congratulations to you. You had to be pretty injury-free to in order to do this, and you've had a great career. Congratulations, the state champ at 130 pounds in at in Class A, Justin Stanley of Wilton. Back to Doug. He did a lot for his team too. The Sixth place, Nate Tassler, Rockwell City, Linton. Fifth place, Bud Harder, Bondurant, Ferrar. Fourth place, Eric Walls. Fourth place, Che Ullman, Riceville. Third place, Eric Wallace, Logan Magnolia. Runner-up, Casey Boxa, Lisbon. And the 130-pound 1A champion from Wilton, Justin Stanley. Justin Stanley, the winner, the winningest wrestler in the history of Iowa. 175 wins. He got the 175th tonight. Actually, we're doing the awards here. 1A, but the 2A match at 135 pounds isn't over yet. That's right. So we still got Dan Barner, Northwood, Kensett. Fourth place, Buck Broyles, Adel DeSoto. Third place, Ryan Utterback, New Hampton. Runner-up, Garrett Kurt, walk on. And the 130-pound 2A champion from Makokata, Cole Pape. Now take a good look at that young man. He's a freshman. Will he come back? Maybe sophomore, junior, senior year? We'll just wait and see. Cole Pape beat a senior. So I think one of those rare little things, I think some of the awards got just a little bit ahead of themselves there for a second, Tim. So we had the 1As before the 2A match was over. Now we're coming to the 3As. The class 3A 130-pound awards. Coach Dick Briggs of Cedar Rapids Jefferson. Sixth place, Kevin Hessel, Pleasant Valley. Fifth place, Kyle Naughton, Glenwood. Fourth place, John Anderson, Oskaloosa. Third place, Eric Sinclair, Cedar Falls. Runner-up, Corey Tarchinski, Davenport West. And the Class 3A 130-pound champion from Cedar Rapids Jefferson, Tim Ironside. Tim Ironside. Joins his brother past years up on the top stand. Let's go to Dean Borg. 